Hello and welcome to the final match of the Dominion League for this season. You'll see a message pop up on some of these games here. Some of the cards have been errated. This message tells us which cards in this kingdom have been. So here you see Princess and Donate. The errata are minor changes to these cards. Nothing too great, but it's good to keep it in mind just because it's a bit new. Additionally, Donald X included some cards from the Hinterland 2nd edition as well here. So we'll have to keep an eye out for that. Doesn't show up. Well, it does show up in this game. In the top right corner, there's a card called Wheel Right. Plus one card, plus one action. You may discard a card to gain an action card costing as much or less. So gain, gains actions and... Gives you back the action. Here's wheel right in full art, so to speak. All right, so this does come into play in this kingdom a little bit. Looking at it, it was very difficult for me to decide what to do here because there are so many gainers. Ironworks gains, Falconer gains, and this new card, wheel right, gains as well. And wheel right could discard a five cost and then gain other wheel rights, gain tournaments. For example, without spending the action, actions are a bit hard to come by here. The only actions are in the prize pile. So that plus action on wheel right is particularly attractive. Iron works if gaining actions doesn't cost an action, whereas Falconer does use up your action for the turn. But if you gain a double type, you could trigger the Falconer from your hand. And then it doesn't cost an action. So many many ideas to think about here what i was considering is to use shepherd to draw here there's donate we will donate right donate games are nice because you could plan easily three four five turns ahead so my plan was to get one of the gainers probably an ironworks on the opening what do i pair it with luca could also gain i should have mentioned that when i was talking about the gainers Luca can also gain. So the Ironworks, I think, is important. It can gain me tournaments, shepherds, because I wanted that for draw battle plans, if I like. Other Ironworks might be useful at some point for pileout potential. We'll see. A what to pair the Ironworks with wasn't entirely clear to me. I end up choosing a Silver. I could have chosen Luca or battle plan, but I chose the Silver... Because I wanted to get to 5, uh, maybe, on the first shuffle. And also, the prizes are actually important here. I mentioned the steed for the plus actions, but I think even more important than that is the princess we saw at the beginning of the game. Reducing the cost of things by 2, so that makes ironworks, for example, much more powerful. It can gain gold, if that's something you're interested in. Falconer as well gains power through the princess price reduction. A princess also gives you a plus buy, also lacking on the board here. So the prize is going to be important. Um, how to get to it really wasn't clear to me. So Person Man opens with an Ironworks, which I also want to open with. They get the 4-3, which is a little nicer because they, if they want, could do Ironworks donate straight away. They have the gainer, so trashing a lot of your cards isn't the worst thing in the world. You could even trash down just to the Ironworks, build up back Ironworks for silver a couple times maybe. And then pay off your debt, go from there. I have 3-4, not as good. I spend a little bit time of time here, but in the end opt for the silver. Maybe to try to snipe 5 on the reshuffle and it's a little bit easier to pay off debt with the silver than it is to pay off debt with the battle plan and the lurker. Now what I'm going for here, I could also get 5 here if I want, right? I could open with the guardian and open with a falconer or a wheel, right? I don't think that's worth it. I prefer the ironworks first. The critical um, part of this game comes in how we address the draw issue. Now, there are a couple cards that draw in the kingdom. One of them is Shepherd. That is the one I was looking at. So when I 
do eventually donate i'll leave some green cards around so that shepherd can draw very well for me the other idea which i did not think too much about is battle plan and why i say it's another idea that i did not think about is because person man goes after that and that is going to be the critical difference in this game so they open with the battle plan and the ironworks i go with the silver and the ironworks fine now here comes the battle plan on turn three for them that is good because they can rotate the battle plans away from me i have no opportunity to pick up a battle plan after this does give them a little bit of pile control there for whatever that is worth so they do choose to rotate the battle plans away from me i think that is the right decision even if i can pick up an archer first i think it's more important to deny me battle plan not just for pile control but also because it can draw cards battle plan is a lab when it comes with an attack in your hand and if there's battle plan there's always archer below it idol is another attack in this kingdom so they choose to donate straight away after rotating so we need to pay attention to what they keep they have an ironworks and a battle plan i assume they'll keep those how much money are they going to keep now so they trash down five coppers three estates so they've held on to one copper one pasture so two money and ironworks battle plan okay so over to me now i get up to five that is what i was fishing for with the silver opening I get up to five so i could get one of these gainers either falconer or wheelerite i do end up going for the wheelerite again this is with my idea of uh using shepherd for big draw then i could discard estates to the wheelerite pick up lurkers and then lurkers could gain that is kind of my rough idea of where i want my deck to go so person man has a different idea note they trashed three of their estates so they will not be relying on pasture for draw instead they'll rely on well the thinness of the deck and also the battle plan so there goes an archer for them makes sense battle plan draws it up and this is another thing i did not account for perhaps the newness of the clash pile the archer attack does end up hurting me here and in particular it hurts against the shepherd plan discard attacks in general hurt shepherd draw and archer is a discard attack so it takes a cop out of my hand here a little annoying i would have liked to pay off one more debt of course but it's not game breaking i think i gain a shepherd here and then go for a donate so now my deck is going to be a bunch of estates one pasture the shepherd the ironworks the wheelwright so let's see what we could do from here over to person man they get a tournament and at this point i already feel very very behind because they are almost out of debt they have a silver in the form of an archer now they have a tournament which is guaranteed to go through the warlords are revealed that is not as impactful here because guardian is on the board to block the warlord attack but warlord also doesn't exactly draw but a warlord in play every turn does give you a boosted hand size and it's another attack for the battle plan to find so they get the tournament obviously they'll play it they'll play their archer and then i have an uncomfortable decision here when they play the archer on what to discard obviously i will hide the shepherd from them they may pitch one of the ironworks or the wheelwright i would expect in that situation so here comes the archer hide the shepherd and they choose to get rid of the wheelwright which is fine person man pays off their debt now they could buy another tournament if they like they could buy another ironworks i don't think that's very helpful even a silver they could get at this point and they are in a great position to buy a province and then go after the prizes the prizes were the key cards in this kingdom and i think i let it slip here again another shepherd because i'll be discarding some green here 
maybe I find a second shepherd with some green. I do. I do draw the whole deck. I get to pull off my Wheelwright plan, which is discard an estate for a lurker. But I'm still well and truly in debt here. Still have to pay off for debt before I even think about going after province. And person man here is, I believe, going to get up to province at this point. So there's already four coins. We know they have two more in hand. So maybe not this turn. Maybe not this turn. I hide a shepherd from them. Uh, they do get up to the province, actually. Uh, taking some points off the labyrinth pile as well. And things look very bleak for me here. My wheelwright gets discarded. And now, I mean, this is a critical weakness in my Dominion repertoire. I do not have a good feel for how to use Shepard. Because very quickly here, this deck with Shepherds and some green in it breaks. I'm not able here, for example, to draw through my whole deck. Whereas Person Man's simple deck with the battle plan for draw worked out very well for them. They get the trusty steed here. They do that because they know they can draw around to the province again, I believe, to gain the princess, even if they don't. I don't have a province. I'm not gaining the princess on my turn. So the trusty steed is actions on draw for them. It's a great addition to the deck. And they don't have to worry about me taking princess away from them. So the critical part of this game was how we decided to address the draw. And I think Person Man got it right. I did not. And I choose to resign here. Well played to Person Man for this game. They had the better idea. And I think uh, they did well. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.